Welcome to Mastery of Writing the Personal Narrative. Lesson 2, Video 2. This video is the second lecture on sentence structure. We're going to start looking at different ways to express an idea with a simple sentence structure. The simple sentence structure we will cover in this video will include the use of descriptive words. A simple sentence is not necessarily simple to write or simple to remember. As you watch this video, Look for what a simple sentence looks like when it includes descriptive words. Make sure to take good notes. And as with every video, at the end, you're going to be asked to submit a question for inquiry. By the end of this lecture, you will know how to effectively compose a simple sentence that uses descriptive words. There are infinite ways to write a simple sentence, and some Simple sentence constructions are easy. Others are very complicated. We're going to work with simple sentences that are slightly complicated in this lecture. Your instructor will help you after you've watched this lecture. And after the initial inquiry session, he or she might have you work on a group of sentences in small groups. You might do some research on definitions of a simple sentence, or you might be asked to write a summary of how you understand a simple sentence. Watch this video. Watch it again if you don't understand everything the first time that you see it. Are you ready? Okay, do you remember what a sentence must have? A sentence can stand by itself if it is a group of words that contain a subject and a verb phrase. If your sentence doesn't have a subject, you don't have a sentence. And if your sentence doesn't have a verb phrase, you still don't have a sentence. When we first talked about the simple sentence, I used the example Mark works. It's a short sentence. It's a perfectly good sentence. But you can't use short sentences like this all the time. Your reader would get bored, and so would you. How about this? Mark works for a large company. Is this a good sentence? Can it stand on its own? Does it have a subject? Does it have a verb phrase? Yes, it has everything we need for a simple sentence. We've already figured all this out, haven't we? Mark is the subject, he's a noun, and he's what the sentence is about, and works is the verb phrase. It's the part of the sentence that says something about Mark. But now, with this sentence, we have more than a subject and a verb phrase. This time we've included for a large company. If we add this, is it still a sentence? And if it's a sentence, is it a simple sentence? Say yes. Say yes twice. With the addition of for a large company, it remains a complete thought with a subject and a verb. It can stand on its own, so it is a sentence. And it's a simple sentence because there is still only one idea. We've just expanded the idea a little bit. We've expanded the idea with description. A writer has infinite descriptive possibilities that he or she can include in a simple sentence. We will cover some general guidelines for using descriptive words and phrases, but there is obviously no way to cover every aspect of descriptive words and phrases and the simple sentence, so you want to keep asking yourself the following questions. Do I have one idea for this sentence? Can the sentence stand on its own? Do I have a subject? Do I have a verb phrase? If you answer yes to all four of these questions, you've done a good job. You have written a first-rate simple sentence. Let's look at another example. We'll use the same simple sentence we started with, Mark works, but this time we'll make some changes to the description. Mark works hard every day. Do I have one idea? Yes. Can it stand on its own? Yes. Do I have a subject? Yes, it's still Mark. And do I have a verb phrase? Yes. And we've added description words to it. Works hard every day. We started with the sentence, Mark works. 
we now know that this is a perfectly good simple sentence. So far, we've changed it up twice, and each version gives us a different look at the same basic idea, that Mark works. Mark works for a large company. This adds valuable meaning to the original sentence, doesn't it? Mark works hard every day. This meaning is different, yet we started with the same basic idea. Look at this one. Mark works hard every day for a large company. Is this still a simple sentence? Does it have one idea? Yes. And we still know it has a subject and a verb phrase, don't we? This last version uses the same subject, the same verb phrase, and all the descriptions we used in the first two versions. And it's still a simple sentence. If you're not sure about a sentence, remember to ask yourself the four questions we talked about today. It might be a good idea to have them in front of you when you revise your work. Do you have one idea? Can it stand on its own? Do you have a subject? Do you have a verb phrase? You must answer yes to all four questions in order to have a complete, simple sentence. Okay, that's it. The simple sentence is getting a little more complicated, isn't it? Don't worry. Your instructor will have plenty of ways for you to practice what we covered here today. Look at this video again if you need to, and make sure to post your question to the inquiry folder. And remember, work hard and have fun.